This is Nokia C32 and today I will show how you can bypass or turn off parental controls on this device. So first order of business is to launch settings. Then you gotta enter the Google category. Onwards tap at the manager Google account button. Then open the data and privacy section, scroll it all the way down. Go for delete your Google account function or feature option. Not sure how you can, how you should properly call it. Um, then in order to continue, you are going to need to input the account password. So do exactly that. Hit the next button to finish the account deletion, which can be done through checking those two boxes and tapping at the delete account button to confirm your choice. Then once the Google account gets deleted successfully, so do the parental controls or rather should I say they get deactivated. But since this phone is a very slow one, low performance, uh, low, uh, slow processes overall, it might take a while for the system to acknowledge that usually on the sharper phones like the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V I have over here, this process happens. I mean, the acknowledgement process, the acknowledgement fact happens instantaneously so I mean let's just see it ourselves actually I was too harsh on this small Nokia uh, the deactivation was already successful so no Google account over here and if I will open the list of parental controls there are none so great success on this front 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 whatever now I'll just quickly show how you can restore your Google account and all that you gotta do for it is to sign into Google Play Store with said account. So obviously start by inputting your email address. Then you should see the message like that. Follow the message by uh, entering the account password. And 9 out of 10 times you will stumble upon the something went wrong error. That is completely fine. Just redo the sign-in procedure and from the second attempt or well, after the second attempt you should not encounter any problems like that and should be also able to proceed the sign-in thus account restoration or recovery respectively which is absolutely true in my case. As you can see, I can now proceed with the sign-in. And well, actually, already by the fact that I can log into Google Play Store with my account, at the first place, you can already tell that it has been successfully recovered. So that will be it for this video. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.